But what I want to do is, um, so I don't have to do this in the future, we are going to try to extract the firmware off this STM chip so we could just purchase blank STM chips and program them, and boom, there you go. We have an infinite supply of sonar preprocessors. Again, that's what we think this is. Uh, of course, extracting the firmware is going to be tricky. Uh, we have to delve into JTAG. I've been putting it off, putting it off, and putting it off. Uh, today's the day. We are going to get on the JTAG, figure out what JTAG, where JTAG is on this board, hopefully. I think I have a good idea right there where it is. We are getting there, guys. So, I made a little bed of nails. Focus, focus. I just milled a really simple, simple board uh, with the correct pinouts and these pinouts here correlate to the pinouts on the board. So I could hook this up to like a uh, a bus blaster, a uh, bus pirate would work too. Got a bus blaster right here. And that's how we're going to try to communicate with the JTAG interface. So. Okay, we've been working way, way too long on this little project here. Uh, but I think we came out with something pretty damn cool. Check this out. A little bed of nails. This is very, very crude, by the way. Just, just threw it right together. No cuts or straight, but look at that. This is a little board of nails, or I'm sorry, bed of nails board we made just really quickly. Um, and that gets secured down by a little piece of plexi. Again, nothing straight or square, but I don't care right now. I'm not producing these to sell. I'm just doing it for my own use. And there you go. Bus blaster um, hooked up to our little test rig here. And let's let's see. See if we can uh, detect anything. We detected it looks like two devices, both say unknown manufacturer. All right, awesome. So we are connected to uh, the JTAG on the board right now. Okay, uh, just doing some Googling. Um, we found that this ID right here is ARM Cortex Core. So that's, that's the processor on the CPU card itself. And we found that this ID right here is the STM chip or the ST chip, ST32F40 something. So this is the chip we're after dumping the firmware right here. Okay, uh, so we grabbed the BSDL files from the, from the ST website. So now the next step is to tell um, you are JTAG where the BSDL files are so we can detect the chip. Uh, I think what we're going to do now is is we're going to stop playing with this. It's been quite a while. I, I got stuff piling up. I got to get some stuff out today. Uh, but what we're going to do is um, put this away for now. Maybe take it out again um, next weekend. This is Sunday now. Take it out again maybe next weekend or maybe uh, early next week. Um, we're having some issues with uh, URJ tag, um, specifically the STBSDL file, uh, which we manually had to convert um, to the format URJ tag uh, expects. Uh, but as you can tell, we're getting some seg faults and stuff, so we're having some issues. Um, I think we have some problems in our parts file. Uh, in any case, um, this is 
just chewing up way too much time but i think we'll make this maybe a two-parter uh or more so i think this was a cool first step though i mean we have communication with the board over jtag uh we just need to get the bsdl file um implemented properly so we can actually communicate with this chip and dump firmware but hey we got a cool little uh bed and nails board here in mounting bracket which we can use in the future uh we definitely learned some stuff today and uh it was fun but uh we need to get some work done now so.